Andy, good to see you. Liam, it's been too long. Thanks for joining us to talk about this new album, huh? Dig out your soul. From my point of view, and I'm only, I'm only one person who likes, who likes music, you know, I can t tell you, from, and I've said this before off camera, I'll say it on, it's the best record you've done since the four of you have been in a band together. Yeah, well, I think so, my nice one. We've you know. finally got the method together, <clears throat> I think. What is the method, Andy? What do you think? What changed? Our method is um, Abbey Road. Mm -hmm. um, LA. <laughs> and mix it in LA and yeah. let Dave Sardi produce it. Yeah, so Dave is your guy now, you let, think, for the foreseeable let Noel, future? Let Noel decide what tunes are on it. Um, and that's it. Fill, up, fill Abbey Road up with, with tons of our gear and mm. just kind of play with it for six weeks. I heard you made it your own as well. Um, I think it was maybe Tom from Kasabian City came down and, and, and heard some stuff and said that it really felt like, you know, you guys have made it personal. Yeah, man. <laughs> we, we, we just... We just nice. Right, because we went in... The, no. the idea was to go in there with one guitar, one arm, <laughs> and then everyone sort of... Put, I, mean, I didn't. I go in there with Nish, you know what I mean? Yeah. But then everyone played by the rules and all turned up with about 20 guitars, 90 keyboards, Best all thing the was the kicks. keyboards. So then who was, the, who was that guy? Fantasy Joe? No. no. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock comes in and he goes, What? Herbie Hancock. That's random. He walks in the room because he was doing something next door. He goes, right. God, you guys are meant to be a guitar band, man. <laughs> I was going, Well, we are, but we've just got loads of <laughs> keyboards. You want to buy some? <laughs> and that was it. But yeah, yeah it was, man, it did feel like home. And, and, it, you know, and that's the thing about Abbey Road. I, we made it really personal. And it wasn't, is, wasn't scared. A lot of bands are going there and get freaked out by it, but it was just it was mm. really intimate. Look, two crackers on the record and, and the next single as well, I believe, as well. I'm out of time. Which is a real standout moment. What do you on mean, the album. two crackers? You're not like the third one. Yeah. Is it, do, do you three, three on songs there? on there? Man. Are there is two. <laughs> which one? Which one am I missing? He's out of time. I'm out of time. So was Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. Well, I can go. Yeah, I can go with that. Two out of three is all right. No, you're right. Ain't got nothing's a bit. But the other yeah. two are fantastic. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Soldier On, definitely one of the best things I think you've ever written. And I really love that track, and it feels yeah. like a totally perfect way to end the record as well. Right. Cool. Yeah. You know? It does prove out. It's a long fade out, isn't it? Yeah. Driving into the distance, very slowly. And you've got the funk on the record. You're definitely one of the heavier moments on the record, Andy, I think. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it worked out that way. It's got about a two-minute intro, is not it? Yeah. It's just feedback for about two minutes and like a ten-second ten song. There's a bit of that on the record, though. I really <laughs> like that. I like that, you know, you loosened up a little bit with that, and it's not so, you know, a lot of the, t the time in the previous couple of records, everything's been very efficient in the way that the, the, the production works with the songs. This time it looks like you're wigging out a bit. Well, there's a lot of stuff going on in between the tunes. Like, there's this whole bit where someone walks down a beach for about half an hour and, the, and has um, a load of seagulls, and then there's a, a bit of acoustic guitar, pastoral, in a field sort of vibe in between two of the songs. And the picnic scene didn't make it? Picnic scene, no, it's, it's, it's in there, but it's underneath the backward seagulls. Oh, it's a subtle picnic scene. Yeah. You watch a bit of TV, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love TV. Yeah. Anything in particular that you're into at the moment or anything that grabbed you? Right when what am I in at the moment? Yeah. Just the usual. The big three, man. What are they? <laughs> Emmerdale, Coronation Street and EastEnders. Holy s***. <laughs> For someone who lives such an exciting life, you sure like living vicariously <laughs> through boring s***s, you know what I mean? Yeah, you, know, you can't be f***ing, you know. Bad for you, man. You end up like f***ing name right now, so if you go out all the f***ing time, you're staying at some point aren't you? of your life. Do you, uh, before you go on stage, Liam, I know that obviously, you know, you, you have an enormous... I mean, you're you very sort of... <laughs> I left a very intense pregnant pause there to insert <laughs> word at will. <laughs> um, I know the self-belief is strong and, the, and, and there's absolutely no fakery in what you do, you know, but when, before you go on stage, you know, there, is there a moment when you have to sit, when you have to set yourself into a, a, certain, a certain frame of mind before you step on that stage uh, and sing those songs? No, no not, so, not really. I do sort of warm my voice up. I sort of sit and play my guitar. That's the only kind of preparation I do for it, mm. just to give it a bit of a head start so I can get on, but... Yeah. Just sort of the usual. Nah, I think we've got some presents for you. We, we tried this with the other guys and it went down terribly badly. So I'll have a crack at this one and see if it goes down a bit better. Me and him are whores for presents. There you go. Well, you like that one. Oh, that's no, pass, pass. no, that's that's your one, Liam. I think these are, these are yours, Andy, here. What there you go. Why would, why would it go down well? The same wrapping that paper? Is, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the wrapping paper is. Rice. Can, it's all part of the joke. Can you know, see how you react. SpongeBob, come on, sit. There you it. go. Come on, man. I mean, you know, you're an easy guy to buy. Okay. Right on. on this, is, this is like a, a some kind of veiled on. insult, isn't it? No, no. I mean, you know, I respect the fact beans. that you're vegan. You I'm know? not. He's not anymore. He's changed. Have you? I used to be. Are you on the meat? I did 12 years. It, I did 12 years. But have you? What? Are you eating meat again? This is f***ing great. Is that like the first time you had a sausage again? It was awesome. So good, isn't it? You always start with a hot dog, don't you? Well, imagine. Imagine my head. My head's gonna look a lot better than that little kid's head in there, isn't it? Thanks for the chickpeas and lentils anyway. You one, kiddie. Can you please put that on at some point? Again with the. I'm going to get a little photograph, I'll send it to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, <laughs> That's so good. Well, Thanks, thank, Andy. You, thank you so much good for the chickpeas and the lentils. You got it, bro. Nice, <laughs> one, nice one for all my goodies. <laughs> you got it, man. You got it.